Hi, this is Greg Hughes. Let's talk a little bit about what it takes to put a Facebook comments social media plugin on your website. Facebook allows us to plug these into our website by giving us a little bit of code. Then we can lay them out a little bit. We have some options. We can use a light version or a dark version. But here's what they ultimately look like. So let's close this out. I was just showing you this as an example on some random website. To do it, what we need to do is go to a place called Facebook Developers. And you can find it at developers.facebook.com. Now there's two areas we're going to go into here. Uh, the first area we're going to go to is we're going to create what's called an app. And I know that sounds complicated and scary, but it's really not. It's super easy to do. After we create our app, which is just a matter of filling in a couple of fields, then we're going to go to an area that allows us to grab the code for our comments box. And we'll take that over into 90 Second Website Builder. Okay, so it's kind of a three-step process here. First step, let's go make an app. So to do that, we're going to go up here to where it says Apps. Very simple. And I've actually already created an app uh, for this, but I'm going to show you how I did it. It's real easy. You click a button that says Create New App. And all you're going to do is you're going to name this app something unique. And Facebook will tell you whether it's acceptable or not, whether it's unique. So you're going to call it something, whatever you want to call it. And over here, it'll tell you whether you can do that. Now, the next step is just going to have you fill in a capture form and provide your email address, and that's it. And what you'll end up with is a page that looks like this. So I created an app called 90 Second Website Builder, and I gave it my email address. Now what actually happened is Facebook uh, created what's called an app ID. And this is really what we wanted. We want this particular number right here. And in fact, we don't even have to do anything with this number right now. Facebook's going to do it for us. But we needed to generate this number so that we can use that social plugin. Believe it or not, I just created an app simply by coming here and calling it something and giving it my email address. It was that simple. Now, there was a few more fields to fill out that I filled out. But you really don't have to do a lot of this. Let me show you if I edit this app. I did provide it with the name, you saw that, and an email address. I also told it which domain I'm going to use it on, and I gave it a category, and then I put my site URL there. You can do that if you want. It's all very, very simple stuff, but that's about as much as you'll need to do. Again, the point of doing this is to generate this app ID number that we're going to use in our code. But even that, Facebook's going to do for us simply because we're logged into our Facebook account. It's going to keep track of what we're doing. Okay, so I'm going to minimize this page and go back to the developers. Okay, so remember this is where we started. We quickly went and made an app. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go create a social plugin called the comments box. And we do that by going to this area called build for websites. I clicked on the icon. And I'm going to click on core concepts. This is not something you necessarily would figure out because Facebook makes it a little bit difficult to find this stuff. So if you can remember to go to core concepts and under core concepts is a category called social plugins. And here you'll recognize some of the stuff, the toys that we can play with, if you will. What we're going to do is use this one called comments. So I'm clicking here and now I'm finally at that spot where I can just lay out my comments box. They give you a little example one here and what it looks like and you can decide what you want it to look like somewhat. You have some configuration option settings here. Well the first thing I'm going to do of course is I'm going to put my URL in here, name of my website. So you would just simply put your name, your domain here and you can see it's updating the example. Again I'm logged into my Facebook account so it knows what's going on here. I can decide to show however many posts I want to show. I'll make it 10. It won't matter right now because there aren't any comments. And then I can change the width of it. You can go 600 is kind of a good width. It's about this wide. I'm going to leave it at 470 for now just so we can see it a little easier. You can mess with that. You can change the color to dark if you have a dark website. If you want it to look like that, I'll leave mine light. That's really it. All we did was type in a little bit of information and now we're ready to get the code. And this gets a little interesting. You'll remember that we created an app. I called it 90 Second Website Builder and it generated an app ID code. You'll notice that when I went to go get the code for this plugin, Facebook has already filled it out for me. It says here that this script is using the app ID 90 Second Website Builder. So it knows that because again, we're logged into Facebook and it's picking that up. And in fact, it took the ID number from that app and embedded it right here 
in my code. So it couldn't be easier. Now I'm at a place where all I have to do is take this code. You don't even really need to understand what it means. We just have to take this code and now put it in our 90 second website builder project. Now I'm going to leave this in the background so we can come back and copy paste this code, but let me go open up 90 second website builder. So here's a blank page in 90 second website builder, and I'm going to go get that Facebook code. The first part of the code that Facebook presented me with is code that's going to go into my web page in a very special place. And to do that, I'm going to right click out here on the canvas and go to page HTML. I'm going to paste the code into this area right here where it says after the body tag. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to go back to that Facebook stuff. Here's the code. This first top of the code is what I'm looking for. And it even tells me right here to include this code right after the opening body tag. So they give me those instructions. So I'm going to take this and select it. I'm going to copy it. Let's go back to 90 second website builder. And here I am after the body tag. I'll just paste it and I'm done. So there's my JavaScript that's going to run this. And there's my unique app ID that was generated when I created an app. Click OK and that part's done. Now the other part of the code is where I want my comments box to be. To do that, I'm going to use the HTML tool because this allows me to place an object anywhere I want on my website. So if I want my comments box to be about right here. That's where I'll place my HTML. I'm going to double click and here's where I'm going to put the other code. So let's go back to the Facebook code and get this half. Again, I'm going to select it, copy it, go back to 90 second website builder and paste it right here. Now you can't see anything because we're working with code. So all we have is a, is a box. And the other thing you can't do is you can't just click F5 and preview this. And the reason for that is because of the way the code has to work with Facebook. So the only way to test this is to actually publish this page to your server. So you can use the publish button, use FTP, however you're publishing your website, and send this up to your server so you can test it. So let me go publish this to my server. Okay, here I am at 90 Second Website Builder. I've already published the page and I put my particular page in a folder called test. So let me go to that location and you'll see that I have my demonstration page. Now, as you can see for this demonstration, I didn't make a very fancy web page. I just used a blank page because I just want you to see how the code works. I called my page index.html and I put it inside a folder called test on my domain so you can see it and as you can see it worked so it's a very simple step I created an app that generated that app ID number and then I went and got the code for a comment box there was two pieces of code one that went inside that uh, page HTML right after the body tag and then the one that I placed with the HTML tool the drag and drop tool and I paste the second part of the code there and here's what we got so those three steps is all it took to create this using the Facebook generated code and 90 second website builder.